James Blunt is James the Wine Guy. Stay tuned for a review of this beautiful Shots of Esol Pure Collection Champagne Flute. Love this wine glass right here, and I actually have these other wine glasses as comparable. Now I have these two other wine glasses, I'm going to do some point outs, and then we're, these are going to go to the side because the emphasis is on this wine glass here. Now this is a fantastic producer that I've really fallen in love with because ultimately they've met my criteria of having a really fine vessel. This producer, Schatz Vesel, has worked very hard to develop a beautiful wine glass that is uh, both beautiful, um, that's very, very durable and uh, you know, it's, it lasts quite some time, at least in my collection. So for me, this is a really remarkable collection, great design, and, it's, and when you think about uh, great wine glasses, they have to be by design, they have to be with purpose and intention. So uh, Pure Collection is absolutely beautiful. So this is part of the Pure Collection. This is a one stem, this is a burgundy glass. So I love the angle of this wine glass, the design and the Pure Collection are very similar. Homage, the uh, Bordeaux is absolutely fantastically beautiful. This is gorgeous. Sometimes I will use a burgundy glass in place of a sparkling wine glass of champagne flute, uh, but that's only on occasion when I really want to get the aromatics on that. But in a group setting, when I'm uh, you know maybe having an event at my house or pouring wine, I'm definitely going to do this and share this wine glass uh, with other people. So I don't want to be like the one person out having a different wine glass because it's important to not only share wine, but to share the same wine glasses as well. So these wine glasses are, you know, first of all, we'll talk about this one. I'm not, not a lot of criticism here. It's just, it's pretty standard. It uh, does the trick, so to speak. Um, it, it, this is a really inexpensive wine uh, champagne flute. And, uh, you know, I don't even know who produces flute, but I will tell you, I used to have about four dozen of these, and I think I have remnants, uh, maybe three or four left. So it, it's uh, unremarkable, and it's not durable, though. They don't last forever. Um, they break easily, and uh, so it's something that I thought, you know, when I'm out of those, which I'm nearly out of, I, I'm really switching to this uh, particular design here by uh, Schatz V. So this glass here, when I was younger, I thought this was the coolest, most sophisticated looking uh, champagne flute. And as it turns out, it isn't. Uh, it turns out that this is a poor design, and you can see right here this really strange foot. And um, for whatever reason, I always pick up my, my glasses on the bottom of the stem uh, near the foot. And this, if you know, it's hard to, to really sh demonstrate, but uh, you can almost tip this over pretty easily. Also, very hard to clean this glass. The material is really inferior. I've broken through many of these, and this one I, I just don't care to keep it anymore. I'm going to give it to. Uh, to someone who wants it or maybe to a thrift store down the street. Also on this glass, I had to use a skewer uh, cleaning the very bottom of it because uh, no matter what you think you've had in your obviously sparkling wine or champagne, is that uh, there's always material that is remnant on the bottom. And I put this through a dishwasher, can't clean this. So something I really don't like. And uh, it's really hard to be in the dishwasher because these, based on the top uh, design here, they tend to sway around really easily, hence they break easily. So that goes away. So what we have here is the uh, the sparkling wine flute or the champagne flute by Chantz Vesel Pure Collection. There are 17 different silhouette or designs in this collection. And I have four of them. I have uh, obviously this champagne flute, the Bordeaux, the Burgundy, and some white wine glasses as well. Now these are not prone to break and they really reinforce uh, Chantz Vesel is a great producer because what they do is they reinforce uh, the foot here, uh, the the uh, bowl to the stem, and uh, the rim as well. And not only that, the material is really fantastic. So this contains uh, pretty much what you find in all fine wine glasses except lead, and that's very important. So what they call this is Triton uh, the material. And that is really something that just has you know, been uh, proven in my household where I used to cycle through maybe 12 to 18 different wine glasses a year would be broken or they would deteriorate through a lot of dishwashing. So these are really resilient, dishwasher safe, lead free and uh, so the additive is titanium in this and that gives some great strength. I've actually had this uh, you know, nearly fall off a great distance say from uh, the dishwasher to the floor. It survived and uh, that's a great thing with this uh, champagne flute. Also, the price points are really uh, reasonable, and it varies uh, retailer to retailer. So it's anywhere between, say, $12 to $15 a stem. And for me, I see it as a great investment. So I, I love my uh, nice, uh, beautiful wines, my fine wines, 
I want it in a very fine wine glass. I think Shots Me Soul uh, has me sold. I will put another video of uh, the other wine glasses that I do own right here. And uh, I'm just very pleased with it. And if you really want to serve some beautiful wines, you want to serve it in a beautiful wine glass that has a lot of functionality. It's uh, absolutely well designed and will survive your dishwasher. So uh, more reviews, please go to jamesthewineguy.com. Subscribe to my video channel on YouTube. Facebook, Twitter, Vimeo, Google Plus, and Pinterest. And actually, I'll just point out right here is uh, the subscription on YouTube. And please list your comments, questions on uh, Shots Wiesel or any other questions or comments you have on wine glasses in general. Thank you so much and salut.